Cycling is one of the few sports that manages to combine tragedy with victory quite as it does. While there is perhaps no greater delight in the sport than achieving victory on your own, there is certainly no greater agony than being involved in a collision at a high rate of speed. This is made abundantly clear in no other event than the Tour de France. Cyclists from all over the world who have trained their bodies to the breaking point are willing to put themselves in harm's way to have the opportunity to write themselves into the annals of cycling history. Welcome back to Cycling Right Now. Let's get into the unfortunate truth that not all of their tales have a happy conclusion. We have a list of some of the Tour de France's most infamous falls, which are just as well known as the race's most notable triumphs. Josiba Baloki, 2003 Josiba Baloki's ambitions of unseating Lance Armstrong in the 2003 Tour were dashed when a particularly sweltering day occurred. After starting the day in second place overall, Baloki ran across an area of the road where the tar had melted due to the scorching weather. In addition to this, Baloki was amid a high-speed descent as Lance Armstrong was sitting on his wheel. Although Lance Armstrong's split-second choice to detour around Baloki by riding through an open field has made this disaster one of the most famous in Tour de France annals, the accident itself was among the worst in the race's long and illustrious past. As a result of the accident, Baloki shattered his femur, elbow, and wrist, and it wasn't until 2004 that he was able to return to the field. Marcus Berghardt, 2010 This accident is evidence that anything may take place during the Tour de France. Marcus Berghardt, a member of Team Telecom, was falling more and further behind the other racers when all of a sudden, a stunning golden retriever decided it was time to cross the road. Unluckily for Berghardt, he didn't notice the dog until it was standing directly in front of him. Because of the hit, the front wheel of Burkhardt's automobile shattered into two pieces almost quickly. This was not a good advertisement for carbon fiber wheels. Somehow, neither Burkhardt nor the dog was hurt in the accident despite the serious nature of the collision. Jens Voigt, 2009 Cycling fans won't soon forget Jens Voigt's spectacular accident when descending the Col du Petit Saint-Bernard since it was maybe the scariest collision to see of the group as a whole. When Voigt's front wheel encountered a bump on the road, he was going faster than 60 miles per hour when it happened. As a result, he went flying over the handlebars, landing on his head. To make matters even worse, the following photographer who was riding a motorbike came dangerously close to hitting him. TV cameras caught Voigt lying motionless for many minutes, which caused the majority of viewers to catch their breath in shock as they watched the footage. Voigt did emerge victorious from the ordeal, albeit with a broken cheekbone and a severe head injury. Bernard Hinault, 1985 When this incident occurred on stage 14 of the 1985 Tour de France, the Frenchman Bernard Hinault was well on his way to winning his fifth consecutive title. A group of chasers was one minute behind American Greg LeMond when Hinault, who was wearing the yellow jersey, caught up to them. During the last dash to the finish line, Hinault and five other racers became entangled in a significant pileup. Even though the Tour does not account for this lost time to an accident in the final kilometer, cyclists are still required to cross the finish line on their own. As a result of just having crashed over his handlebars and landing on his face on the asphalt, Hino was severely wounded and had a fractured nose. Hino was able to hold the yellow jersey on his back even after receiving medical care for many minutes and then pedaling across the finish line. However, what made Hino's performance even more remarkable was his ability to finish the subsequent stages. Even though he was having trouble breathing as a result of his fractured nose, Hino was still able to win his fifth Tour de France. Johnny Hoogerland, 2011 The danger posed by automobiles to cyclists will never go away. Johnny Hoogerland was involved in a collision with another competitor's team vehicle with 36 kilometers remaining in the ninth stage of the 2011 Tour de France. The collision itself was not the source of the harm, however, how unfortunate it may seem. Hoogerland and Juan Antonio Flecha, a Spaniard, were both flung through the air and landed in a barbed wire fence. The blood and wounds on Hoogerland's legs appeared like they were taken straight from the movie about World War II. As a result of the tragic event, it is stated that Hoogerland still struggles with back pain, mood swings, and sleeplessness many years after it occurred. Laurent Jalabert, 1994 When French favorite Laurent Jalabert crashed during the Tour de France in 1994, he was left so bruised that he made a vow to his wife that he would modify his riding technique. At the time, Jalabert was a well-known sprinter. He and many other riders collided with a police officer who was positioned along the barriers that were used for crowd control. The dispute, which was finally brought before a judge, was caused by the police officer being shown on replays moving out of the way just a little as the bikers neared. 
Shattered teeth, cracked cheekbones, and a broken collarbone were among the injuries that Jalabert sustained. When Jalabert finally returned to competition the following year, he made good on his vow by transforming himself into an all-around rider who concentrated on winning one-day classics rather than competing in the more perilous run-ins to the finish line. Giuseppe Guerini, 1999 When Guerini had a collision with a photographer quite near the peak of Alpe d'Huez during the 1999 Tour de France, the bulk of the people who were there at the event were shaken with fear. The accident did not even come close to being the most horrific of all the other collisions that took place throughout the race. On the most renowned rise in all of cycling, Guerini was coming closer and closer to capturing the victory of his career when all of a sudden, another rider jumped in front of him to take a picture. This caused Guerini to miss out on the opportunity to claim the victory of his career. Guerini was unable to flee, and as a consequence, he found himself lying on his back while the remainder of the pack approached him. It was a moment that made the Italian's heart sink, but happily, his adrenaline kicked in, and Guerini was able to win the stage. Guerini was able to win the stage because he was faster than the other riders. Joe Truman Joe Truman was knocked unconscious and may have fractured his collarbone in a scary Kieran collision that took place at a speed of 70 km per hour and rocked the Commonwealth Games. After colliding with the reigning champion of Australia, Matt Gletzer, the driver who was 25 years old at the time, lost consciousness and was later knocked unconscious by flying debris. Trackside medical workers supplied oxygen to him. Meenakshi During the women's 10 km scratch race at the Commonwealth Games, Indian cyclist Meenakshi was involved in an accident and was subsequently run over by one of her competitors. Meenakshi was involved in a horrifying accident that caused her to lose control of her bike and slide down the bank of the curve. Brioni Botha of New Zealand was also involved in the collision. Both she and Meenakshi were thrown off their bicycles after Botha's bike drove over Meenakshi's. As soon as the accident occurred, medical personnel hurried to the location and both of the riders were removed from the competition. Meenakshi has transported away from the scene on a stretcher. Laura Kenny of England was also competing in the race, and when it was stopped, she was in the front of the pack. The race was eventually stopped. Laura Kenny of England was victorious in the competition and took home the gold medal. A video of Meenakshi's accident is currently going viral on several social media platforms. A second cyclist has been involved in an accident in the past two days. After the disaster that was caused by England's Matt Walls two days ago, this is the second accident that has occurred at Lee Valley Velo Park. During this time, Indian cyclist Vishavjit Singh, who had already qualified for the final in the men's 15km scratch race, had a lucky escape from the terrible accident. After falling over the barriers during the English cycling race, Olympic champion Matt Walls of England sustained stitches, scratches and bruises. The audience also had a traumatic experience as a result of the occurrence. That's all for today. We will be back with more. Please do hit the like and subscribe for more.